Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven and welcome back to Cold Steel. We are after the entirety of the swimming lesson we had last time, which we did get into first place in just two tries, which I was very happy about. We are now in the evening at our school, right about doing our rounds and talking to everyone. This isn't our free day, so we don't have any bonding points, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be tomorrow. And why is this twitching a bit? All right. So, what are we going to do today? We're going to go over the entirety of tours, talking to everyone. And once we complete that, we're going to go back to our dormitory and prepare ourselves for the free day we'll have tomorrow, which will include, of course, again, the old school house and with a few extra tips. I got in the comments, I will start to rebuild uh, our orphan setup for our characters and open up the remaining of the uh, orphan slots to the characters that were not in our group, didn't have, so we can open up everyone. Because if we have that, then all the things we get hmm. from now on will be to improve uh, the orphan setup. And I think if we have a baseline like uh, added skills like a seal, blind or whatever uh, for the casters, EP cut, cast 1, cast 2, whatever for the attackers, attack 2 or higher, that kind of stuff we can just build upon that with every new level we get from that then we just have a few more slots we have left just right. to give them certain magic that uh, will be to their advantage so I have plenty to think about in that regard but I do want to make sure we are prepped before we head over to the schoolhouse which will probably be at the end of our day walk on the first half of our free day. Which is technically going to be tomorrow at the 18th. Alright. Uh, so hungry. I ended up spending so much last month that I barely got the money to eat. Okay Colette, your allowance will be here tomorrow. You probably won't wither away and die. Eh, probably. Well, technically, you can last a few weeks without food. You will not be uh, doing fine, but you will technically survive. Water, however, that's more important. <laughs> ah, we've got our annual concert coming up next month. We'll be playing at a church in town. Rosine's helping us setting uh, everything up, since she's there all the time anyway. I'm sure it's going to turn out great. Next month we'll be playing an annual concert at church in town. Making all of the arrangements to do so obviously takes precedence, but we've got to keep practicing. Ah, it's a very big concert. Oh, Sister Anelia requested that I help the wind orchestra with the planning and setting up for their performance. The performance at the church sounds splendid, so I gladly accept it. They seem to be putting all their effort into it too, which gives me even more reason to want to help them. This performance uh, sounds like it could be rather splendid, so I'll gladly help them out. Feel free to come along if you have the time to, Reem. Ah, I feel this will be part of our task uh, tomorrow. Mm, slight hint on that. It seems the Wind Orchestra's summer performance is a long-held tradition. How wonderful to see everyone coming together to plan the concert out. Let's use this next month of prep to make sure it's perfect. So next month's field study is gonna be in Trista itself because of the summer festival or something. Oh, as a newcomer to the academy, I'm incredibly excited to see how the wind orchestra performs on stage. Okay, let's use this next month of prep to make sure it's perfect. Bridgie, can you help me out with this part? I just don't get it, Ellen. Bridgie? Hello! Anybody home? Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry Mint. Did you need something? Ah, oh, come on! We've got a performance next month. You gotta get your head in the game. Yeah, but for the last couple of months, I think by now, she's having trouble with Ellen and Ellen's being a bit of an ass about it. And she doesn't understand or doesn't know why. I blame Patrick. Richie's been pissing out a bunch lately. We're performing next month and we need her supporting uh, us. We can't afford to have Bridgie out. 
Mint. I've let it slide until now, but could you please not call me Bridgie? <sighs> Mint's right. I should just focus on the concert. Yeah, but uh, certain things in private, if they get too big, you just can't help and think about it. And the best thing you can do is deal with it. Confront Alan. Make sure he knows what's going on and let him give you an explanation so you don't have to worry about it. I found an interesting ingredient at the pawn shop the other day. It was the tail of a black lizard from the east, supposedly. They were used for love potions in ancient times. He just screamed Margarita to me. Think you can use it for something? Oh, do I ever. It will be my pleasure. <laughs> I knew she'd gladly accept some new ingredients. I'm happy that I could provide them too. I want to see the full extent of her culinary creativity. Oh, Nicholas is such a nice boy. It's a shame she's not my type. If he were, he would definitely be a contender for my future husband. Oh, Nicholas is such a nice guy. He definitely is. But uh, maybe he wants a love potion too and he's thinking, if she managed to make one, then I have the recipe too. Maybe. Hmm, so this is what she's drawing. But it could use a bit of that... <clears throat> I mean, that Linda touch. Is this Vivi? <laughs> Talk to Linda question mark. <laughs> no, I think it's Vivi. He's uh, planning a prank again, isn't it? A bit of that. Make those bigger. There we go. <laughs> now it's looking sick. Oh yeah, it's definitely Linda. I mean, uh, Vivi. You're really good at painting, aren't you? <laughs> How about I give you a little uh, private modeling for your next painting? Hmm. Doing the design for a live model from would definitely be a good practice. But I've got to say, you seem a lot bolder than usual today. <laughs> it's just part of your imagination. Hmm, she doesn't seem usually say things like that. It's almost like she's a totally different person. She is. Can I confront uh, her about that fact? And she is still working on that damn horse. Hmm, summer uniforms. Oh, I guess it's time to start wearing those. But last time I wore mine, I was in the middle of an art project, so I ended up completely filthy. Finding and washing it at this point seems like an annoyance, so I'll just stay in my winter uniform for now. So basically, you're lazy. <laughs> oh, the last time I wore my summer uniform, it was in the middle of an art project. I think that's the floor, yes. Let's head over to the roof. Ooh, it was loading so long that I thought, how many people are gonna be up here? Actually, quite a bunch. V? What are you doing here? Hmm? Earth to V? This is your commander speaking. Do you read me? Oh, hi Ryan. I didn't notice you. Were you lost in thought or something? I've never seen you not notice someone talking to you. Eh, don't worry about it. Leave me alone for a bit. Sure, sorry about that. She definitely has something on her mind, but if she asks to be left alone, there's not a whole lot I can do for her now. Potential bonding event tomorrow with V? If it's an option? I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Just because uh, you are saying you're fine, don't worry. Now we are worried. May sound strange, but that's actually how it works. Ah, summer, what a marvelous season. This is the season which awakens my pathos and passion. It's as if they're being called out to play by the sun itself. Or perhaps but there's lovely young maidens seeking refreshments in the pool over there. Your ability to draw connections between such unrelated concepts is truly awe-inspiring, Master Vincent. Ah, oh, Sariva, please, such flattery is unnecessary. Master Vincent has been taken 
with Summer ever since he was a child. I assume no explanation is needed as to why. No, Vincent? Ladies in bikinis. And if that's the case? I do see the appeal a little bit. Ah, oh, heed my words, Sariva. My entire body awaits our next swimming lesson. As long as he gives it his all, all the other thoughts are not of any consequence. Alright, we do have a janitor there, so let's uh, go towards him first, before talking to the rest of the people here. Uh, have you seen that black cat that's been strolling around the academy lately? I've tried giving it milk and food, but it always runs off. Hm. Guess it's a picky kitty. That cat's got a really beautiful fur, but she won't even let me get close. Guess she's got some high standards. Well, she is pretty nice to me, so I guess you're right with those high standards. <laughs> yeah, we do need to find her again for the milk. Because I think we have like 54 batches of milk right now, so she's gonna need to drink up. Oh, good day, Masterine. Oh, hello Sharon. What brings you here? Oh, on my one of my duties is to fulfill some of the chairman board of directors related work on her behalf. I was in the process of ju doing just that. Wow. I knew you were skilled, but helping out with things that are so ten gentle like that is really something else. Oh, they were merely a few simple tasks, that's all. The chairman rarely uh, finds time to visit, and as such, she often requests that I come along in her stead. That charm for you, shrugging off her own superhuman accomplishments. I occasionally come here to act on behalf of the chairman. Fear not, however, this is part of the job, shall not affect the quality of my work as your dorm maid. At this point, I'd be more surprised if it did affect you. I'm looking forward to tonight's dinner too. <laughs> I shall await your return. Oh, Sharon brought me all the necessary paperwork pertaining to the Class 7 dormitory. Not only that, but they've all been filled out in a very detailed and well-organized fashion. <laughs> she really is exceptional in every way. Sharon brought me all the necessary paperwork. Yeah, she's uh, putting us to shame, because our reports definitely will not be uh, that detailed. Oh, we're almost at the height of summer. That means, of course, that with the sun getting hotter and hotter, you'll need to be sure to avoid heat stroke. Take a rest every now and then so that the heat doesn't overtake you. <laughs> and of course, try to stay hydrated as possible. I don't want to see you without a cold drink in your hand. All the time? Really? That's gonna be bothersome. Maybe we should just carry around a bag with a uh, refillable bottle. Oh, I should treat the student over there to some of my specially brewed iced tea. She'll be perking up in a chivy. Ooh, so we know? Uh, would you please not speak to me? I'm already feeling unwell and your presence is not improving things. Alright, so I'm guessing part of the sickness is being a little bit bitchy, but that's me. Hey, is that Elliot hanging out with Instructor Nightheart? Hmm, that took longer than I expected. I have preparations to make for tomorrow, so I'm afraid I'll have to excuse myself. Oh, of course. Sorry to keep you. Ah, phew. Hey, Elliot. Oh, sorry, Reen. I didn't see you there. <laughs> no worries. I was just surprised to see you and Instructor Nightheart together. What were you guys talking about? <laughs> you know, uh, just uh, stuff. Oh, that reminds me. I really need to get back to the club right now. About now. See you later. Well, that was weird. It doesn't seem like they were talking about anything too important, though. Yeah, but he has gotten me a bit curious, so if you don't mind, I'm gonna go quickly to the 
Walker Straw. And talk to Elliot again. Uh, it's gotten pretty late. I've got my Wind Orchestra performance next month, though, so I still need to get some more practice time in. Does Elliot know Instructor Nightheart? They were talking for a good while there. Not sure how they would have gotten acquainted, though. Well, we sure don't know a lot about Elliot, so there might be something in his past or present that uh, made that happen, but only time will tell. We know so little about Elliot that I cannot even come up with a theory how that would uh, be. Hmm. It's always about the time of year that I wish I could go back to Isengard. I cannot deal with this heat. <laughs> I always forget you're from the Norsha province too. Oh right, you're from Emir, aren't you? Don't you miss the cool refreshing summer uh, back home? Uh, summer hasn't been treating me too well these days. Maybe I'm just getting old. That could uh, very well be the case. Now, Principal Van Dyke will be leaving the academy on business tomorrow afternoon. <coughs> As you well know, the absence of the principal means that the vice principal takes charge of the academy. So listen up. I am not nearly as soft as our principal. Should you get up to something, do not expect me to let you off so easily. I'm not nearly as soft as Principal Van Dyke. Should you cause a problem, you will suffer the consequences. Right, time to prepare for next week's lessons. You might want to review some of what I taught you if you got the time to spend, Swarcer. Well, will do. Hmm, it doesn't seem like there's anything wrong. Right, time to prepare for next week's lessons. Alright, before we talk to Thomas, check our hint if we can actually. It doesn't seem like we can cook with anybody. No, I guess I have to wait till we're back in the old school house. Ah, uh, but we do have two for him. Then the one we still need is probably for the upper class maid. Oh dear me! I've never seen a dish quite like this before. This will definitely help with my research. If you discover anything more, visit me at once. Okay, so no rewards, so maybe one or two more? Ah, originally the summer festival was celebrated around the end of June. But while the War of the Lions was raging on, it wasn't exactly practical to throw a big celebratory event. As you all know, Emperor Dracos brought the war to its end in July of 952, and then it was time for celebration. So the long-cancelled summer festival was held a month late, alongside other end-of-war festivities. This meant that the summer festival Heimdall celebrates today is also a celebration at the end of the war. Good to know. <laughs> Maybe I should have included some questions related to this on your midterm. It's related to the material we covered, so it wouldn't have been a problem. Still, thank you for not adding more questions. <laughs> Definitely. I tend to be out of the office frequently during the summer, as I have meetings to attend all over the country. As such, the academy will be in Heinrich's hands tomorrow. He can be rather coercive uh, at times, but he's still very accomplished despite of that. I'm scheduled to leave afternoon. I should go over the arrangement with Heinrich before leaving. So is he gonna be the one introducing us to the schoolhouse then? Maybe? No, oh, but that is at least our academy building. <laughs> beautiful, simply beautiful. These shots are gonna make me a killing. All right, time to get some more material. I've got customers on pins and needles for these, after all. Yeah, Rex. Someday you are gonna get in trouble. I just, I just know it. Oh, Vivi asked me to swap clubs with her for a while, but I'm not sure I should have. Uh, I've never taken care of plants before. As long as they are watered, they should be fine, right? I hope he's not messing things up in the art club. The last thing I need is her doing any embarrassing stuff while pretending to be me. Trust me, we already noticed. <laughs> These flowers are growing little by little. 
Oh, the very first life she created. Beautiful. <laughs> he hasn't been visiting the club much recently. I see her around the academy from time to time, but she always seems a little depressed. It's rather worrying. Well, if I can't take care of her, I'll take care of her flowers. Vivi seems off today too. It's almost as if she's a completely different person. <laughs> I know what's going on, but having her help out for a change is far more entertaining alternative. Didn't Linda tell that she's Linda and not Vivi? Oh well, it might be a thing twins actually do. I've seen it plenty of times in movies. And of course, new uh, moment in time, new fish. Well, yeah, new fish, definitely. Yeah, and that's the thing I was wondering, right? Like, since uh, Thor is a central what place, this? and I think someone hinted at this in the comments way long time ago, <gasps> will every fish of the country end up here in the area? I think so. I think that's why we need to uh, save our ground bait. So when we are at the end of the game, Not bad. the final chapters, when we should technically have seen all the fish all over the world, we can then uh, mass produce <gasps> fishing results in order to get those last couple of fish. And yes, it will probably uh, also be a part luck, because with these kind of things, I think it's random uh, what kind of fish we're gonna get. I think we should be able to do it. And by the way, we are halfway through <gasps> with uh, all our fish. We got 9 out of 20. I really can't tell the difference between this one and the last one. It's the same? Not bad. Nope, this is just a regular car. <gasps> what are you gonna give us this last one? A crab? One. No, we have plenty of time. What even is this? A pretty big salamander. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Mm. Oh, let's go different this time. They are everywhere. This is a girl's locker room. If I walked in, my death would be swift. Blissful, but swift. Yeah, we keep on trying, cause at one point we will be getting in there. Hmm. Try as many times as you like, but the results will always be the same. If you intend to bring me to my knees, you'll have to do a lot better than that. Son of a... Hmm. How boring. Perhaps I should request a match with Loggings. Damn it, I just can't win. There's no way I'm going to get stronger like this. And if I can't, I'll never be able to face her. Is that gonna be a thing? It's not that he's anti-noble, but he wants to be just as good as a noble, so he's worthy of her? I would understand that, but it seems rather pity. Oh, Ellen's been getting better little by little, but it seems as though he's trying to rush things. He's hurting his concentration, and because of that, he's not getting as much from each practice as he should. Ellen seems like he's in too much of a rush to get better. It's hurting his concentration, and because of that, he's not getting as much of each practice as he should. I was all ready to beat the shit out of Patrick if he planned on messing with Ellen again, but instead, I got that sad excuse for a match. What the hell's going on? Patrick's been acting weird for a while now. What happened to that smug attitude of his? I think in the last practical exam, we knocked him down more than just a little pack. Hmm, how boring. Perhaps it's a request a match with loggings. Eh, you can try, if that will make you feel better. Laura and Monica both seem preoccupied. I hope they are both able to work out their way through whatever is bugging them. The only person who can solve your problem is you. I hope so the two 
manage to work out their way through this. I hope so too. Oh, your kicks are completely wrong, Monica. How many times must I repeat myself before you understand? Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'll do it right this time. This does not seem like Laura. You'll have to forgive me. I'm afraid my poor teaching is at fault. Please, excuse me for a moment. Would you mind practicing on your own for a while? Uh, sure? Hmm. Laura? Is everything okay? Oh, I'm very sorry you had to see that. It seems I still have ways to go myself. Laura. She really has been off lately. Yeah, we really need to find a way to get her and Fee to make up, because I'm pretty sure that's the thing that's bothering her. Hmm, I still have a lot to learn myself. I need to give a better effort and be more patient while coaching Monica. If I got better, Laura would actually be able to focus on herself. I need to double, no, triple the amount of effort I'm putting in. Yes. Well, as long as you don't bury yourself out, any effort you put in, definitely worth it. Oh, it feels like it's finally the swing club season to shine. And we gave the pool a real good cleaning since it's gonna be used for classes. No, 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 please, hold your applause. It's all in a day's work, really. Now, we gave the pool a good, real cleaning since it's gonna be used for classes. No, 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 please, hold your applause. I was not applauding. Because uh, if you're using a swimming pool every week, you should regularly clean it, or else it's gonna be extremely dirty. No amount of chemicals can uh, go against that. Alright, there are plenty of people in the field. And there's someone behind the shed. I know. I know, but still. I could swear I just heard someone talking. Yeah, I think I know uh, who they're talking about. The two people we're seeing here behind the shed. I don't know. He didn't show the potential while we were in the north. Hmm, I knew I should have come with you. It seems pretty likely he's a key. But... Hmm? That voice sounds familiar. Who's there? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to in Hmm? Oh, Emma, it's you. Wait, isn't that black hat? Reen, how long have you been there? Oh, I was just passing by when I heard voices, so I started wondering where they were coming from. This is really interesting. Because we already more than suspected these two were uh, together, but a talking black hat? I, I say that's an extra tick in the column of uh, Emma being a witch. Go witches talk to their cats. Yes. Wait. You were talking with someone, right? Where did I go? Uh, well... I was uh, talking to a friend with my Arcus. Yeah, that uh, communication functionality sure is convenient, isn't it? <laughs> you know it. Sorry I interrupted you then. I'll get uh, out of your way if you want to call them back. <laughs> it's alright. We had just finished talking anyway. There's no nothing you need to worry about. Nothing at all. Okay, if you say so. Still, you really do know that cat then. Wait, it's not your cat, is it? Mm, no, it's not quite like that. If anything, she's like my supervisor. Okay, things are getting weirder and weirder. Because the cats usually are submissive to their witch. And if she's saying she's her supervisor, oh, it gets curiouser and curiouser. I want to know so much more than that. <laughs> And the fact that they're calling uh, Reen a potential key? Key to what? Unlocking something, but what can he unlock? 
his own power potentially? Hmm. A cat is? Oh, so sorry. I met my friend. Yes, yes. The two of us have a real connection. Back when I first came to the academy, we kept running uh, into each other. And after a few offerings of milk and cheese, we eventually struck up a friendship. <laughs> ah, so that's how it was, huh? She seems pretty well behaved today. I take it she's in a good mood? <laughs> it certainly seems that way, doesn't it? There we go. Um, anyway, I'm sure our owners in Tristan must be getting worried, so I should take her back there. After all, it might cause some trouble if the instructors uh, found a cat on the academy grounds. Oh, right. I don't actually think anyone would care. Oh, Emma? Uh, yes, what is it? You wouldn't happen to know her name, would you? If she has her own in Trista, I'm sure they named her. Oh, yes, you're right. Uh... <laughs> her name is Celine. <laughs> For some reason, the cat is not happy with that. Is she messing with it? Ah, so that's her name. And Selina? It's got a nice ring to it. She got such a shiny, silky looking fur. It really suits her. Well, at least you uh, knew she was a female. I've been wondering up the, until now. <laughs> I thought the bow would have been a giveaway. Alright, Celine, let's get you home. I wish I could get her to cozy up uh, with me like that. Next time I see her around, I'll have to give her some extra fresh milk. Hell yeah. 50 extra points? For nothing? I'll take it. It's 50 fights you don't have to do. <laughs> and I wonder if she's somewhere else now. She's going back to Trista, of course, we won't find her uh, on the campus grounds. Not a bad horse, if I say so myself. I thought it matches up to the ones we rode in the north, though. Perhaps I should ride it around the field for a level two. That sounds like it might be pleasant. Allow me to accompany you. <laughs> you really are, good uses. You've been doing a fine job raising your horse, too. Why don't we take this chance to ride off uh, to the highway? We could uh, see if your horse can outtrace my trusty white comb. I hate to admit it, but Yusus really knows what he's doing on horseback. I won't let him show me up forever, though. I hate to admit it, but Yusus is better than me at both riding and caring for the horses. I won't let him show me up forever, though. Go for it, Paula. Because, uh, knowing Yusus? If you do outshine him, he will respect you for it. it may not sound like it, but he will. <laughs> oh, you cheated. This is the only possible explanation for this. The idea that we would somehow lose otherwise is... Well, that's unconceivable. Oh, please. You know full well that I wouldn't cheat. That, that is true. Well, clearly my stick is somehow faulty. We shall do this once more after I've exchanged my stick for one that works properly. Uh, I give up. Oh, I cannot possibly lose after so much practice. I'll show you this time, Melissa. Just you wait. I don't have any problems with how hard Ferris is working during practice now. I do have an issue with how much grief she's giving me for it, though. It seems that my history with Emily is repeating itself through the two of them. However, it remains to be seen if they can overcome their differences and become true friends. I would actually hope so that they would become friends. Because true rivalry can become friendship. It seems that my history with Emily is repeating itself. Those two just will not get along, will they? And they need to realize that rivalries are about inspiring each other to aim higher. And not just wasting the day arguing. Those two would just not get along, will they? Well, but they are right. Rivalries can lead to friendship and, of course, 
more better abilities because you strive each other to be better than the people before. Oratorium, always locked. Hmm, apparently Misty hasn't revealed her secret identity to anyone. I've gone to the radio station to try to figure it out, but the staff told me it was her idea to remain anonymous. It seems it's up to us to decide whether Misty's her reveals her real name or a stage one. <laughs> really gets the imagination engine going, doesn't it? What could she be in, like in real life? Going off for her rose alone, I'm sure she's absolutely lovely. All of this mystery surrounding her really gets the imagination going, doesn't it? I have to be honest, he is uh, sounding more normal by every event we talk to him about. In the beginning he was really weird with his material and such. Now that we know it's about Misty, he seems to be more like a regular boy. <laughs> and yes, and we've seen Misty a couple of times already. Ah, I cannot believe you're going to the summer festival. A number of shops will be holding sales and running promotions, so I can only imagine that I'll learn a thing or two. Now Becky, how would you like to come along with me? I heard that last year's summer festival had an economic impact of over 1 billion Mira. Yes, billion with a B. How could any aspiring businessman resist? Ah, I actually forgot all about the summer festival. I dare want to go, but is it worth we go with Hugo? I actually forgot all about the summer festival. Ah, she should really go. They do seem to match pretty well, actually. Alright, let's go to the library. I suspect not to be very busy here. We could check if there are any new books, though. It's really hot outside lately, but the library is still pleasantly cool. <laughs> While everyone's out blistering in the sun, I'll be right here reading through a stack of books. Ah, bliss. You had a swimming lesson today, right? What a perfect activity for this weather. I'd love to go play in the pool. The only problem is how sleepy I get afterwards. That kind of spoils the fun. Hmm, I can't remember if we faculty members are allowed to use the gym or not. I suppose we'll have to check in with Bayenka about that at some point. I'll definitely go for it. With this weather, swimming is perfect. Ah, yes. Folklore number two. Perfect. Some light reading for in between the episodes, as always. Right, no one studying up here. As always, library. Not a place where a lot of things happen, but a very important place indeed. Right, student union is next. As soon as uh, July rolls around, I get a real hankering for ice cream. I ordered some super expensive high class ones last year as a joke, thinking they wouldn't sell. But the students loved them, sold right out. <laughs> Maybe I should get some more in this year. Right, anything new? Doesn't seem like it. And a new Imperial Chronicle. I do love this one. It's, the Celestial Bomb is just reviving bomb plus two. Really it is. Very expensive though. Do we have anything to exchange? A little bit. Uh, a lot of students fall ill during the height of summer, so we're doing our part to try and keep that number down. <laughs> We've got some icy cold drinks to ward off heat stroke and hot pots full of meat to dry your, keep your energy up throughout the day. Eating well is the best way to get through the summer months happily and healthily, no question about that. You need to make sure you eat well during the summer. Collapsing students aren't happy students, that's for sure. Make sure you don't become one of them. Ooh, Tomato gratin and jules potage, or whatever you call that. 
I think these were the old ones, right? So, is that what we, are those the new recipes we can learn soon? Oh, hey, you're one of the guys from class 7. How's it hanging? I didn't know you guys had uh, your own summer uniforms, too. They don't look all that different from ours, though. Yeah, just some extra pockets and a symbol on our backs. Hmm, summer uniforms are a gift. Switching over to them takes a weight out of my shoulders in more ways than one. Make the girls all look cuter, too. Hmm, I can't believe neither of the upper classes and the highest average score. The first years must have been quite complacent to allow this to happen. I understand their anger, but perhaps they should use that energy to study instead of lamenting the unchangeable. Yeah, they're still hung up by the fact that we commoners won that uh, midterm. <laughs> it looks like you're worried uh, about them. Not that I can blame you, but just remember, we fought a lot before we can became friends too. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm hoping for Yusas and Machias as well. Because I think at this point we can agree that it's maybe not a full friendship, but at least there's a rivalry there. At least more positive than uh, them fighting all of the time. Ah, uh, you burn through energy much faster in the height of summer, so you should make sure you're eating well. A lot of girls seem to think summer's the time to jump on the fat diet bandwagon, but no good comes of that, if you ask me. If a balanced diet pays the road to guilt health, half starving yourself just covers the road with nails. I do understand how this girl must feel, but if you want to lose weight, eat healthy. Balanced meals is the way to do it. Then give me a recipe with a balanced meal. Not because I want to learn more recipes, but having a recipe for something very healthy is always something nice to have in your repertoire. I did it, I did it, I finally finished writing the story I started last month. <sighs> Nothing can top the feeling that comes from capturing the pure love, pure love of two boys can snare, share in text. I can't wait to show it to Emma tomorrow. I've got to admit, I'm proud of this one. It's got some great stuff in it. Pay no attention to my painting. <laughs> uh, the extreme uh, boys love uh, fans. Can't beat them. Oh, I told you my brother graduated from here, right? He was actually the one who started this club. But I didn't come to this academy just to follow in his footsteps or anything. I run tail since Trista has so many great spots to fish. I can't say that about most schools. After he graduated, my brother managed to round up a bunch of fishing nuts and formed the Imperial Fishing Club. We don't talk much though, so I mean, who knows for how it's going. Alright, no new rods, no new items. Yeah, we haven't leveled up yet, so probably part of it. I wish. Did we have one of these? Or did I want one of these? I just won't have one in my list. <laughs> We're scheduled for another match against the upper class club. Thanks to Matthias, we've actually won more matches than we've lost this year too. We need to keep it up so we don't get shut down. Hmm, the summer festival is right around the corner now. I'm sure all the preparations will keep my father busy as usual. What's your dad like anyway? The impression I got from reading the Imperial Chronicle that he's a top-rate governor official at least. Hmm, well, he's a good humored person both at work and at home. He's always willing to listen to people and interact with them. I think that's part of what makes him a popular figure. Well, he sounds like a good man. I wish more people in politics felt that approachable. Well, I guess the best way to put it is that he's an ally of the people, for better or worse. I haven't really talked to him much recently, to be honest. Maybe I should write uh, at some point. Go for it. Yeah, I'll write to him uh, once things calm down a little bit here. Right now, though, I need to focus on the chess club. I've gotten way better since I started playing with Machias, but I still have a long way to go. As long as I keep improving, I'm sure I'll be able to keep this club alive and well. Yeah, you just need a few more members, I'm sure of it. Ah, uh, 
summer festival has finally arrived. Which means it's finally time for them to start appearing. <laughs> oh, in a school with as many strange stories as Thor's, it's hard to believe that there won't be at least one sighting. I can hardly wait for something to happen. <laughs> yeah. She's starting to be a bit scary, to be honest. It seems the rumors about Rex were true. I should probably try and put a stop to it before things get out of hand. As the head of the club, I should have a word with him and convince him to stop. Yeah, he should really stop taking uh, indecent pictures of the girls around campus. Because like I said, it's gonna get him in trouble one of these days. Oh, hey Reen. It feels like summer finally here. here. Now that the swimming lessons have started, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it really feels like it once the heat starts uh, ratching up too. Uh, by the way, aren't you a bit hot in that uh, winter uniform you're wearing? Oh, it's not like I'm the, the only one. The school regulations don't say that you have to switch after all. Besides, it's the academy's traditional uniform. Most of us in the student council and lots of nobles keep it on all year. It was actually designed to be worn all year, cool in the summer, and nice and toasty in the winter. I see, so basically, it's not as hot as it looks. <laughs> Pretty much. Maybe you should try wearing yours sometime this summer just to try it out. Our winter uniforms were specially tailored so they could be worn all year round. Maybe you should try wearing yours sometime in the summer just to try it out. We might. And like I said, I am thinking of uh, working a little bit with all the clothing pieces. Uh, to see if we can mix it up around. Right, that's for the student union. Let's finish it off with the last two locations. I heard uh, that Alyssa met Gwyn during your last field study. She always seemed so concerned about him. I assume that's a weight off her shoulders at least. Nothing could make me happier. <laughs> As a friend at least. I'm glad to hear that the weight's been lifted off Alyssa's shoulders. <laughs> Maybe I'll see if she wants to take uh, me to take her for a ride. Hmm, I don't know. She might be interested in that ride, but with you? Hmm. First things that come to mind when I think of the summer festival is the summer racers, of course. Wish I knew which horse was gonna dominate the track this year. Hey, correct me if I'm wrong, but aren't students prohibited from betting on the horse races? Hey, not to worry. They check uh, you out so thoroughly that it's nearly impossible for me to put down bets in the first place. Uh, it's rough being a student sometimes. Hey, the races are pretty fun to watch, even if you don't have any money running on them. <laughs> Still, it's rough being a student sometimes. With Reinfurt helped lay the foundation of the development of orbital technology in Arabonia. Nobody knew what happened to him after he resigned as chairman. So, it's nice to hear he's doing well. I'd love to uh, have a chance to sit down and talk to him someday. Engineer to engineer. Apparently, Quinn was the one who came up with the orbital bike in the first place. I guess he really is the kind of guy that takes his curiosity and turn it into something amazing. Alright, let's see, what can we buy? Ooh! Fire Element Master Quart, Offensive Arch deal critical damage. Firebolt, Heat Wave, Flame Tongue, Volcanic Rain? Huh. Interesting. Yeah, sorry, I, I, ha I have to get it. Alright, Defense 2. HP is still the 1. Attack to Don't see much difference here to be honest. Oh, EP cut to. I think that's new. Hold on. We'll uh, look it up in between the episodes. But for now, we have one last location to go before we can uh, call it for today.
And of course, that is the old schoolhouse. Hmm, I've been checking in on the old schoolhouse regularly myself. Haven't seen any significant changes so far this month, though. No new floors have popped up either. Well, I think we're on the right track in believing that the changes happen once a month at least. There may be another influencing factor we haven't considered yet, though. Well, however it might work, the investigation part is all up to you. I had the principal put in another request on your free day, so make your plans accordingly. Will do. <sighs> Maybe I should call it a day. I'm pretty pooped. Maybe I'll have our almighty maid whip me up a snack that goes well with whatever kind of booze I grab first. Not a bad idea. Definitely not a bad idea. Alright. You know what? Let's uh, call it here, because uh, we're done with the entire academy. Next thing is to go into our Trista, which will probably trigger our uh, day to end and go into the dormitory. So, that's going to be next time. Until then, I wish you a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. And if you're still here, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and be back next time. As we're probably going to start a free day and a bunch load of tasks we need to do. See you then. Bye-bye. Thank you.